Hello YouTube, Jadamon2005 here with a review of the Kamen Rider Forza Deluxe Meteor Galaxy. This is the weapon that Meteor wears on his right wrist. That gives him the abilities of three different planets, which is cool. Um, so here we see Meteor on the front and his fingers all ET glowy. We see the Meteor Galaxy there and it's talking about three different things with his different powers. On the top we see Meteor Galaxy, system all green, that's what it says when you turn it on. Okay, Mars! Okay, Jupiter! Okay, Saturn! On the side, we see him with the, the galaxy. And then on this side again, see it some more. On the back, it's showing... You push it, and it's got LEDs. Um, it's showing you for Mars. Mars, ready? Jupiter, ready? Saturn, ready? And then it shows the different abilities again. And then it shows the limit break you can use with the galaxy. So let's get it in here. Um, it's this tiny thing. I actually thought it would be slightly bigger. Not that much bigger, but just a little bit bigger. A couple of inches or so. But, uh, that's fine. Um, so we see, um, the speaker right here. We see the finger pad right there with the little design that's on his, the bottoms of his, the fingers and the gloves. Um, we see each of the plants. We see Mars, Jupiter, you can tell the right red spot, and then Saturn with the rings. That's obvious. Um, you push the switch up and it activates this button here deactivates it. You can push more than one up at a time, but I will show you that that results in an error. Here is the um, on-off switch. Let's see the different sides of the, the, the toy. Here is the switch slot. It um, does not recognize which switch is, switch is in there, just that there is a switch in there. And then it has our standard uh, Velcro straps we see on you know, Sentai changers. Um, as well as um, various rider um, power-up devices uh, that we've gotten before. So, um, in fact, though, this actually came with the straps on. So you got to, like, dig for the battery door, which is below this strap, I believe. Uh, yeah, yeah, since that's where the speaker and stuff is. So the battery it takes two AAA batteries and such. Um, so let's, in fact, we'll put it on my arm. And we'll see that I have a large arm, but it still will fit. So it goes on your right wrist, which is odd because most of these toys are left wrist toys. Um, but I guess because he punches with it and powers up his punches, maybe? I don't know. So we'll just strap this on here. Strap the first strap as tight as we can. Pull as far forward as we can to make sure we can strap the bottom one. And just barely fits... But it does, and I'm all set to be Meteor. I have the driver, I have the galaxy. But since it's hard to see what I'm doing with it on, we're going to unstrap it and take it back off. But I wanted you to see that it will fit your arm, even if uh, it is at least somewhat large like mine. I, mean, I don't have any kind of super wrist, super giant wrist things, but whatever. So let's turn it on, we'll get the light and sound. System all green. This lights up green. The middle lights up red. Now let's activate Mars. Mars ready. It plays that waiting noise, and then okay, Mars. An activation sound for Mars. And then deactivate. Then we hit Jupiter. Jupiter ready. Same waiting noise. And the Jupiter sound. And it's just a pressure pad, so when you put enough force on it, it activates. And then Saturn. Saturn, ready. Okay, Saturn. And there's Saturn's noise. Now, if I try to push all three at once... Error. Error. You can see all three are up, and it says error. Or just any two. Error. Error. One at a time, folks. Now, let's get my meteor switch in here. Like this. And we will activate it. Oh, this way. Okay. So it says, you know, limit break. And makes that waiting noise when I push my finger on it. It says, okay. And then does whatever. 
Um, and then this is the scoop switch that came with Hall Wankoff. We'll put that in there and watch as we get the same noise. So, uh, just like with the transformation noise on the Meteor Driver, no real way to distinguish which switch is there, just that there's a switch in here. So go ahead and do the sounds. Um, so, and actually, that's pretty much it for the Meteor Galaxy. Um, it's a pretty neat device. The voice is a little bit weird, but, and does, it speaks fairly good English, um, you know, uh, comparatively speaking, of course, especially considering what we get for some of the things. But, um, in any case, we got, I keep thinking in any case, I need to stop doing that. But we have, uh, the different planet things, and it's just cool, I, I like that being a space freak, and, um, I don't think it's that expensive, I don't remember how much it was, but, uh, you know, there is no switch with it, so that does kind of, uh, de-incentivize buying it, unincentivize, I don't know, one of those negative words, um, but uh, it's still fun, you know, if you can get it for a decent price, I don't see any reason against not, you know, you shouldn't pick it up. Um, so, yeah, until next time, check out the podcast website, Ramboards, RedisVengineRambles.com, bringing the latest Toku news the greatest way possible. And as always, thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!